After three years of writing, one year of shooting, four years of reshooting, and two years of editing, I have finally completed my movie, Threat Level Midnight. Do we all have our copy of Threat Level Midnight by Michael Scott? Yeah. yeah, yeah. All right, let's get this started. I'm gonna be reading the action descriptions, and Phyllis, I would like you to play Captain Zeta Jones. That's the character's name? Okay, oh, you yeah. guys should not be doing this. Why not, Dwight? This is a movie. I mean, this is for all of America to enjoy. You took something that doesn't belong to you. Dwight. You brought it in here, Do made you copies want of it. to play the lead role of Agent Michael Scarn? Master Scarn. Master Scarn. I play Samuel, Michael Scarn's robot butler. I wanted Samuel's voice to be like this. But Michael thought that Samuel should be a very advanced android, almost indistinguishable from a real person. Dwight does not play a robot. Inside the FBI, Agent Michael Scarn sits with his feet up on his desk. Catherine Zeta-Jones enters. Sir, you have some messages. Not now! They're important. Okay, what are they? First message is, I love you. That's for me. Not in a thousand years, Catherine. We work together. And get off my desk. Yes, I have acted before. I was in a production of Oklahoma in the seventh grade. I played the part of Muty, the mailman. They had too many kids, so they made up roles like that. I'm intercepting a name, Jasmine Windsong. She works for Golden Face. But what I can't figure out is, who is the funky cat? Not who, what? The funky cat is the hippest jazz club in town. Oh! He cut the part where my circuit board malfunctioned? Then what was the point of spilling the drink on me? A man sitting several seats down who has a gold face turns to Michael Scarn. Uh, ooh. Oscar, you wanna play Golden Face? <clears throat> Mr. Scarn, perhaps you would be more comfortable in my private jet. Yes, perhaps I would, Golden Face. You have to let us go, Golden Face. We have family. Ha, this is gonna show them that I mean business. See ya. Far and away the most expensive shot of the movie, but it was integral to the story. Sam, get my luggage. I forget it, brother. Samuel, you are such an idiot. You are the worst assistant ever, and you're disgusting. Dwigged? Wait, who's dwigged? Here's what we think happened. Michael's sidekick, who all through the movie is this complete idiot who's causing the downfall of the United States, was originally named Dwight, but then Michael changed it to Samuel L. Chang using a search and replace, but that doesn't work on misspelled words. Leaving behind one dwigged. And Dwight figured it out. Oops. D-W-I-G-H-T. Ah! It's Scar! Sorry about your friend, Scarn. The joke's on you, Golden Face. That man was a wanted animal rapist. We've searched the whole building, Golden Face. Where is the bomb? Hmm? We've searched the whole building, Golden Face. Where is the bomb? Hmm? We've searched the... Okay. He said, where is the bomb? In the puck. But why are you telling me this? Because I'm going to kill you. Unless you forgive me for murdering your wife. Hey, Golden Face. Yeah? Go puck yourself. No! That was not scripted. Okay, you know what? I am done with this. That's it. The end. Well, some of us want to keep reading. Uh, so. You don't speak for everyone, Jim. Okay, announcement. My uncle bought me some fireworks. And anyone who wants to see a real show, come with me outside now. That's actually a good idea. We'll all take a brief intermission. Hey, are you hungry? Yeah. Yeah? I had plans to meet a friend tonight, which I had to cancel. But this is cool, too. I'm not a complainer. Don't you guys get it? 
Nobody's coming for us. Oh, someone's coming, all right. The only man who would care, Michael Skarn. <laughs> See, I'm gonna lure him here. Then I'm gonna kill everybody. Then I'm gonna dig up Skarn's dead wife and I'm gonna hump her real good. <laughs> I did not love the dialogue or the character. I took the role to impress a receptionist who will remain nameless. Golden Face is going to blow up the NHL All-Star game tomorrow. I see what you mean about problems. I know what'll cheer you up. That table of bachelorettes over there bought you this drink. Ever banged an entire bachelorette party, baby? Why are you singling my line out? Hey, kid! Hit G9 on the jukebox. No, Billy, I haven't done that dance since my wife died. There's a whole crowd of people out there who need to learn how to do the scar. Michael Scarn, and I'm here to say I'm about to do the Scarn in a major way. You jump to the right and you shake a hand, and you jump to the left and you shake that hand. You meet new friends, you tie some yarn, and that's how you do the Scarn. You jump to the right and you shake that hand, and you jump to the left and you shake that hand. You meet new friends, you tie that yarn, and that's how you do the Scarn. You jump to the right. For the bugs. Nice. And that's excellent because bugs love my famous grilled cheese sandwich. Yes. Nice. I can't remember the last time someone made me dinner. I want you to take all your frustrations with women, the system, with everything, take it out on the puck. All on the puck. I guess I did let him be a robot. I'll get it. Man, I love being retired. Scarn here. Michael is the president. Hello, sir. I need you for another mission. Ah. Uh, yeah, I'm in. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Isn't the president evil? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, he is. No, no, no. He's doing it to catch the president. No, no, Dwight. He's just being stupid. <laughs> so, I guess I'll see you in 10 hours. What are you going to do with your time off? Travel. Yeah. <laughs> I've been looking forward to it. It's going to be really nice. I'm going to find myself. You have any music? Yeah. Definitely. Yeah! Threat level midnight Makes all the girlies feel all right From Madonna to Madeline all bright Threat level midnight It's a threat, a level, a level, level threat He's the greatest hockey star I've ever seen yet Threat level what? Midnight! Threat level who? Michael's gone Threat level why? Apartheid